A Take on Porcelain God This is a really interesting and impactful story of a person who became an allergy specialist. All because of the trauma from a peanut allergy reaction they had experienced when they were a toddler. However, in order to protect the identity of the author, I will not disclose the name of that person. I will interpret them with an anonymous placeholder instead for now. Now, the title of the essay, Porcelain God, does not necessarily mean they are a god of porcelain, but it is rather a metaphor for what the author has experienced and used it to their advantage to learn about allergies and immunology. The thesis of the essay where they said, Bowing down to the porcelain god, I emptied the contents of my stomach. Foaming at my mouth, I was ready to pass out, is rather greatly exaggerated in terms of emotion. But that is the whole beauty of it. They explain how they felt when they experienced the allergic reactions. Specifically, they use hyperbole to emphasize the emotion and experience to make the words more convincing and touching for the readers. The essay pretty much begins with something they felt, and at the very end, they talked about how they want to become an allergy specialist and how they want to help kids even. Considering that the author has also become enthusiastic about the field of allergies as well as immunology in broader terms. This major twist answers the question of, this happened to you, so what? Because this essay is not based on factual research and is rather based on thoughts and experiences, there is no works cited page for this essay. Not even parenthetical citations or references in it. Any quotes, if any, properly flow with the tone of the entire essay. If a teacher were to be desperate for that student to make their essay based on factual research, then the author student would have instead written an argumentative or informative essay about it, using their own sources and giving credit with a works cited page, of course. Regardless, what stood out to me was this well-constructed paragraph where the author talked about the, their paranoia with eating after the allergic reaction incident. When they said, I became scared of death, e eating and even my own body, I found it really shocking and I feel bad for them when they experience those kind of thoughts. Furthermore, they thought be be that it became a curse for them when they said that they become paranoid about checking food labels and refusing any to eat anything that isn't known to them. But it would have been more interesting if the author told more about the story since I think it's kind of short, meaning there could be possibly be some more explanation to the story. Anyways, overall, I really like that essay because I can relate to it to a similar peanut butter algae that greatly concerned me when I was younger. Firstly, the author claimed they didn't know about the condition at the time. Secondly, the author claimed to have an interest in biology in college since the author was now interested in the human body to be specific. Finally, it is good to have the author teach about their experience and inform them about the immune system. It really helps others know what to and what not to eat in terms of food consumption. In summary, I could just say that anything that happens in anyone's life can be very impactful, whether it is good or bad. In those cases, it could even turn into someone's career. Another example of this is having an interest in collecting and playing with fire alarms. We'll eventually have them turn into a fire alarm technician or a firefighter in that sense. Who's the perfect example of that? N New Age Server Alarm. You should watch his videos. He's really cool. So in case where in case where I got this essay from, it is from collegeessayguy.com slash blog slash college essay college dash essay dash examples hashtag porcelain percent twenty god access october nine, twenty twenty three. Thank you for watching.